you're uh, just starting bass, you might have some troubles with uh, notes coming through that you don't want to come through. Um, I'm going to show you a few ways that you can clean up your sound and kind of tighten things up, make notes short and clean, and just kind of make everything clean. Okay, so uh, one thing you can do is practice playing notes and stopping them when you want them to be stopped. Like... And what I'm doing is I'm just playing that note and then I'm lifting up on my finger a little. Just like if you were to play an open string and then put your finger over it to mute it. So that kind of backwards. You can see my fingers kind of move. Just practice doing like eighth notes and quarters and making them short. You can also mute strings uh, a couple other ways. One of them is uh, when you're playing, you put your other three fingers, if you're not using them, across the string. So. so let's get a little closer there. And I'm also kind of lifting up on my finger like I showed you before, but if you can listen, it'll, it rings through a little bit. So if you put your fingers down, it, it eliminates that little harmonic ring. right hand technique as well. So what you're going to do is uh, use your thumb and you're going to rest it on that string that you don't want to come through. So alright let's say uh, say we've got a D, we're going to do a D arpeggio. And we're going to move it down to a C. So, so if you can if you can see my thumb, pluck with my finger and then mute it with my thumb and then hit those other strings I'm going for. Another good right hand muting technique is uh, when you pluck a string, take your other finger and rest it on there and keep it ready to pluck the next note. So you go and if you can hit the string against the frets like you can kind of keep a better uh, beat, helps you stay in time. So. all using right hand and then uh, once you learn all these together you can kind of throw them all together uh. 
If you're doing a lot of slap stuff, you'll want to use uh, the technique where you're you're playing a note and then lifting up with your finger a little. And then and then when, if you're just learning to slap, you'll notice that when you when you slap, you're you're hitting a lot of uh, excess strings. So it might sound more like that as opposed to so what you want to do is you'll take your your other fingers here and you'll kind of I don't know say you're playing the E right here and I'm using my thumb to mute these two these two top strings and then kind of my other fingers just lazily laying over the other strings so you'll have So there you go. Hopefully you can you can take that and incorporate it into your playing, you'll play a lot cleaner and it'll sound a lot tighter.